Hello, my name is David Larson, amateur radio operator KK4WW. We're located today here in the Floyd Amateur Radio Station in Floyd, Virginia, N4USA. Today we want to talk about a 50 watt amplifier made to amplify QRP radio signals. This is an old timer built in 1977. It's a Tintec 405 and we're going to take a look at the inside and look at a little bit of detail on the amplifier. Well let's take a little closer look at the front panel and also here you see the close-up of the shipping box or shipping container. Zooming in on the front panel is very simple. There's a band switch for 40, 20, 15, and 10, a power switch and a time delay, transmit delay, a meter to read watts and a meter to read SWR. That's all there is to it. Very straightforward, no tuning. It's broadband. Okay, here's the back side. Very simple. Heat sink for the transistors. Coax connection going to the antenna. 12 volts uh, power connection. A fuse. The RF input from your QRP transmitter and 12 volt auxiliary output which will power low power things like the lamps on an antenna tuner. Okay looking inside the 405 amplifier we're looking here at the relay switching board with the two relays and the sensing circuitry. Up here is the bandpass filter for the four bands. You can see the obvious four bands here. Bandpass filter. Okay looking at the back side here's the RF uh, amplifier board with the two transistors down here and the circuitry associated with the transistors the RF output, and down here is the RF input, the fuse, and the um, 12 volts out, and the power connector is right over here. Okay, looking at the front panel, we see the two meters, one for SWR and one for power, the light bulbs, uh, the on switch, the, the rheostat over here for delay, and that's the front panel. So it's a nice clean uh, layout inside the 405 amplifier. Here's a ICOM 746 Pearl, uh, just running 100 watts into a ground mounted vertical out of the backyard there, Dave. Uh, that's just a setup there. And um, I'm a little familiar with your contact rig. I think I've seen pictures of those before. So a nice uh, a little radio there, and um, glad to see it's still working. Uh, back to you. Oh, oh, yeah, it's the old Argonaut and uh, we've had it for a long time. I got the 50 watt amp on. Let me turn the amp off, see if it can still copy me. Okay, we're, we're strictly QRP now. QRP, five watts, five watts. One, two, three, four, you copy that there, um, Kevin? Yep, you're, you're down to about a five by five. You're at five on the meter, so uh, the little amplifier got you up to about uh, at nine, a little bit, almost 10 over, so it's uh, Probably best to do the amplifier on here. Frequency is in use. Uh, frequency is in use. Uh, frequency is in use. Frequency is in use. Thank you for asking. Yeah, I've turned the amp back on, running a big 50 watts here now. Hey, like Kevin. Of course, the unit comes with a manual, owner's manual from Tintech. And 35 years ago, they didn't have word processors, so if you look inside, you see the material is just typed with a probably an IBM Selectric typewriter. Um, very, very brief manual because there's not too much to the operation of the unit. Some of you will not be too uh, interested in the schematic diagram, so we won't spend a lot of time. But if you want to look at them carefully, uh, just stop the video. Here's sort of a block diagram of the unit. And we looked at these units. Here's the amplifier. We looked at that on the back uh, part of the amplifier. The changeover with the relays and the sensing circuitry and the, and the uh, bandpass filter and the connections on the front and the back panel. You see them here. So this is sort of an overall block diagram of the system. Here's a 50 watt power amplifier that's tied with the back panel. Very simple, the input. It's a broadband amplifier, so there's no tuning here. The uh, input and the output and some bias resistors. And here's the bias circuit that turns it on and off and that's controlled by the control board and the 12 volts, of course, it feeds power to the transistors. There's a filter board. Uh, each band 
just has some ferrite uh, bandpass filters which filter away everything except the band that you're operating on. So these are the schematic of the bandpass filters. Uh, one for 80, 40, 20, and no filtering for 10 and 15 meters. Like I said, those of you that aren't real technical, there's probably a little more than you want to see, but you can stop the video if you want to study the schematic closely. But uh, the two relays, this is the a changeover control board. The, the relays are controlling the transmit receive, the sensors for doing the switching from transmit to receive, and over here is the circuitry that controls the uh, forward meeting watt meter and the reverse meeting reading um, SWR meter. So this is the SWR power circuitry right here, the control circuitry to switch between transmit and receive, and the relays doing the switching. Here's a little bonus circuit when the transmitter is switched on, this line goes to 12 volts. And I've got a little circuitry here to switch on a larger power amplifier. And what I've done is use my QRP to the 50 watts and then the 50 watts to a kilowatt using this little circuit here with a transistor to switch the higher power amplifier at the same time that the 50 watt switches on. I think this circuit will work. I don't guarantee that it's exactly what I used, but um, I have two of these amplifiers. I'll show you the back of the one that has that uh, little uh, circuitry on it, and we use it at home with our sometimes with our one kilowatt amplifier. Here's the back of my second unit that does have the control circuitry coming out here for the extra relay to control a higher power amplifier. Actually, I've used this amplifier not for higher power, but in one of my videos on the Russian QRP, I was running the Russian QRP into this amplifier and then running 50 watts. And you'll see that here on the uh, amateur channel as well. Don't really need two of these 405s, even though I like them. So anybody interested in buying one, uh, just contact me. We'll see if we can work out a deal.